thought it was timely to shoot the video on uh, just uh, the um, motorizing assemblies also as you have the MK1 version which is depicted over here with the clutch and uh, as you will see on the next video the how this operates and then the MK2 also shown complete uh, assembly and disassembly so this will be part of this video and uh, how these other parts go on how different belts new fit and uh, with the multi-rib v-belt you can make your own pulleys as i will do on the two of the machines because uh, i think uh, with the three-step pulley inside the headstock sorry here and on the motor you will cover the range if you say have a 1400 rpm motor and you have um, a point five I mean a double reduction and then a um, one to one and then a 1.2 or 1.5 uh, increase in speed then you will actually have I think a complete range up to 3000 rpm mind you this is on uh, with a VFD and uh, you don't really need all that uh, uh, all the possibilities with the counter shaft but however uh, I have all, all possibilities here so uh, parts for the MK2 clutch which of course is rather different than the MK1 over here we will look into that also in the next uh, video so here i am at my workplace stashed out in the weekend with marker parts uh, my small hobby shop back home is well i have some parallel projects going on so i thought it would be better to not be so cramped up so it's uh, rather convenient to uh, leave one headstock like this at least a motorizing assembly part to look at all the reassembly process takes part just so simple thing as how these things are mounted is okay and then covers first just to so you don't forget so you don't do as i did namely put on the this one first and then have to redo it after because this needs to go inside mm -hmm. and then for as a mock-up just for setting up because i don't want to bring my beds so um, this seems to be okay. I will show you the complete disassembly of the of the clutch system here. First of all, I've undone, undone the screw at the rear here, so I can let's say I've loosened the the screw underneath here, taking that away, and I've loosened this inverse screw here, so I can move the pulley back and forth, and. Um, 
or loosened here also but uh, anyway the procedure is as follows you loosen the pulley and then slide this a little bit back and then you take the circlip out which I've done here just a pair of pliers it's uh, this has been taken a little bit out so it's really like this and the circle has has been loosened from the from the slot there and pulled back this is loosened and I also taken out the uh, the key there and then it's only a matter of pulling this out this is now loose on this side also but don't mind that and then you pull that out carefully it's only held by the circlip now trying to do this gently so it doesn't fall off again as it did previous attempt okay pull this off and uh, I don't know if you can see that but there is a ball and a spring inside here and this is also loose and this is pulling pushing on the ball inside there again push this on this uh, rod inside so the parts I'm looking at ball spring what do you call that push rod ball and then push rod again and the spring so I can slide this off carefully and off comes the yeah, off went the small ball, circlip, parts of the bearing, the, be the thrust bearing here. And now this is loose, just as this, put that aside. And I can remove the thrust bearing inside here. which is really these parts with the another washer distance piece whatever you call it okay and now I can pull off lever here pull stressed straight off and this fellow here is really just knocked out it's in reality of course sits harder but it's just a push out okay and then you have a pair of bronze bushings here that is also replaceable now i just uh, thought it was time also to show you that the, the disassembly of the clutch here is a rather simple matter nothing to fear at all really my take on it is very simple also to unscrew this in a safe manner just screw this in with the clock so to speak or clockwise I mean and then you hear the release soon the spring loaded so nothing more than that 
not any drama at all. Now you can take out the spring and push rod like that, if at all needed. So I'll get down in here now to, uh, to take the circle out. And these are of course the parts in here. And do this. I've do, been doing this now two or three times back and forth, so it's, they are a little bit loose. Like that. And I, to get to this, which is somehow stuck sometimes, I use this method. Maybe force this out gently. so and uh, to change the bearings there are two circlips one here and on the other side and then the bearing pushes out and there's a distance ring inner and outer inside there I've done that already so I didn't plan to do it more but there's a slot here for the circlip that uh, I need to get to and down into that slot I think we even heard it go in now that is stuck and then it's a matter of reassembling again and um, that is just put this Top, align it like that, and now what for most has been voiced as a tricky part, which is very, very little drama at all. But any rate, let's see how this inside ball and um, some grease. Okay, so there you go, and then just upside down again, aligning this again, so that I can clamp it down. And now you see this just pushes out there and just hold it, of course. Like that. And unscrew it to counterclockwise. Would have been more safe of course with two clamps but now this is the, i think the fourth or fifth time and it's proven to be well not very dramatic at all just as long as i keep it there hold it Assembled again.